Hello students. Now, today I will explain question number 10 and 11 of exercise 8.3, chapter 8, comparing quantities. Now, question number 10 is very, very interesting. That the population of a place increased to 54,000. Increased to, that means it was something and it became to uh, 54,000 in the year 2003 at the rate of 5% per annum. Now, it increased at the rate of 5% per annum. Now, what they are asking, what is the first question they have asked? Find the population in 2001 and even they are asking what would be its population in 2005. Now, let us try to understand the whole question. Now, in the year 2003, the population is what? 54,000. Fine. So, in 2001, we do not know. Fine. That is, we consider this as X. Because this is the first question they have asked. That is, what was the population in the year 2001? We do not know. And what will be the population in the year 2005? That is also, we are not aware of. That is also, we will consider this as Y. Fine. So, now see what they are saying. So, in the first sentence, they have said that... So we have to understand that in the year 2001, we do not do the population in the year 2001. But in the year, the population is already given, that is 54,000. And it was said, it became 54,000 in the, the population became 54,000 in the year 2005. And what will be the population in the year 2005, it is also asked. Now, there's some more details been given. So it is increasing. The population is increasing by 5% every year. So there was some population in the year 2001. So now it has increased by 5%. Fine. So that's, there was some population in the year 2001, which we are not aware of. Fine. So it has increased by 5% and then in the year 2003, it became 54,000. And what is the time span then? Time span is what? Two years. Isn't it? That means whatever the population was there in the year 2001, so within this span of two years, at the rate of 5%, in the year 2001, the population became now 54,000. Understood? Now, the answer is given. You see, the principle, if you consider this as principle, if we consider this as principle, fine, time is given two years, rate is given 5%, so what will be the answer? Suppose if the population is P, where time is 2 years, rate is 5%. So what is the answer after 2 years? See, the answer is given. Answer is given. If you just consider this too. The answer is given 54,000. So we'll consider the population in the year 2001 as principal. As because the time span is 2 years. So we'll take N is equals to 2 and rate percent. At what rate percent it is increasing every year? That is 5. So R will be considered as 5. So this is the first part of the question, students. So let's solve the first part first. So in the first part, so we'll consider P as X because we're not aware of that part. So we'll assume that the principle, whether you write it in this way, principle in 2001. So we'll let this, let the, not principle, you write population, let population Let population in year 2001 be x. So we'll consider this as principal. Fine. So rate at what rate it is increasing? 5%. And what is n? What is the difference between the difference between 2001 and 2003? It is 2 years. Fine. So we'll use the formula of amount. That is p into r 1 plus r by that is to the power n. So this is the formula that we will use because it is increasing yearly so it is compounded annually so that means it is increasing yearly so that is the reason where you are, we have used the formula of compounded annually now we have considered the population in 2001 as x so we'll write it here x and the amount we have considered this as an answer so we'll consider this as amount fine so in place of amount we'll write 54000 students okay now 1 plus, what is R? R is 
and n is 2. Now we'll solve this bracket first. That is x into 105 by 100 to that is 54,000. Okay, now to get this value of x, we have to transpose these values. But first of all, we have to expand this. So that is x into 105 by 100, 105 by 100. Okay, because power is 2, so we have to write 105 by 100 two times. Now, what if we have to transpose? Because you see, to get this value of x, we have to transpose 100, this 200, and this 205 towards left hand side. So, what will it look like? 54,000 into 100 into 100 by 105 into 105, and this will be the value of x. Okay, this will be the value of x. Now, the rest part will do it here. Okay, so rest part will do it here. Now, when you will reduce this whole thing, okay, you will get the value in decimals, I guess. Okay, you will get the value in decimals that is 48979. So, x value would be what? x would be 48, just a minute. 489799979.59. So you see, this was a population in the year 2001. But the problem is, since your answer is coming in decimal, so the population cannot be in decimals. So whenever you see that your population is population or any count or any number, fine. So it is coming in the decimal form. So you have to write the approximate value. Now the question is, so how to write the approximate value? Now, to, to write the approximate value, you have to see, you have to consider this whole number, fine? Now, if you see after this number, what is there in the 10th position? So this is the 10th position, students. This digit is a 10th position. Now, if you see that in the 10th position, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is written. I repeat, if in the if in the 10th position, okay, that is after decimal, this, this is the 10th position, this is 100th position, you all know. So, if in the 10th position, a number li like, uh, suppose, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is written, then you have to write the next number of this value. Fine, what is the next, what is the succeeding number of this? 48979, nine. the succeeding number to 48979 nine will be what? 4, 8, 9, 80. Isn't it? I repeat. So how to write the approximate value? So you have to see whether you have to keep this number or you have to write the succeeding number. So when you see that on the 10th place, if 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 is written, then you will write the succeeding number of this number. And suppose if on the 10th position, if 1, 2, 3, 4 is written, then you will repeat this number. In this case, 5 is written, so we'll write the succeeding number to this, that is 48980, but also we'll add one more word, that is approx. We'll also add which word? Approx. So, the population in the year 2001 is 48980. Okay, now let's move on to the next part of the question. Now, in the second part, they have asked, what will be the population? Now, what was population? Now, this time, what will be the population in the year 2005? Again, it is increasing at the rate of what? Again, it is increasing at the rate of 5%. So, what is the time uh, difference? Uh, the time span is what? Two years. So, what will be, what will be the population in 2005 if the population in 2003 is 54,000? And it is increasing at the rate of 5% after 2 years. So now this time we'll consider in the second part, we'll consider this as principal, this as rate and this as time. Now this time we have to find the answer. Previously the answer was given but this time we will find the answer. So amount we have to find. Fine. So the second part would be second part. Let's do the second part, student.
second part would be the population we do not have to let this so population in 2005 this will be considered as principal which is 54,000 R would be 5% only and is 2 years will be now we will write the formula that is A equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power N now in place of P we will write 54,000 1 plus 5 by 100 to so that would be 54,000 into 105 by 100 into 105 by 100. Now once you will solve this, so once you will solve this, it is very easy solution students, just reduce these two zeros, one zero. Now we have 10, we have 54, then we can easily reduce this with 2, isn't it? 2, 27, 2, 5, now reduce this number with 5, 5, 1, 5, 21. So we can easily, now you just, you have to multiply 27, 21, 105. Now your required answer would be 5935. 59535. 59535. So in the year 2005, the population will increase to 59535. See, in the year 2003, it was what? 54,000. Now after two years, when it is increased, when it increased at the rate of 5% per year, the population in the year 2005 will be 59,535. Okay. So question number 10 is very, very important students. Okay. So now let's move on to sum number 11. Okay. So question number 11 we have in a laboratory the count of a bacteria in a certain experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour. That means rate is given students. Rate is given 2.5% per hour. Okay. Now what is the next thing they have said? Find the bacteria at the end of 2 hours. End of 2 hours means we will consider N as 2 hours. Okay, we'll consider N as 2 hours. If the initial count is 5,6,000, if the initial, that means at present, the bacteria count is what? 5,6,000. What will be after 2 hours? That means again the answer they are asking. That means initial count will consider this as principal. That is 5,6,000. Fine, so this is the principle. So, what will be the count of bacteria after 2 years? That will be considered as amount. So, we will write the value formula first. Amount is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. Now, in place of P, we will write 5 lakh 6000 into 1 plus, what is R then? 2.5 by 100 to the power 3. Okay, now how can we write 2.5? 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 also. Okay, we have studied in decimal. So, we will write that. It will make our solution little easier. So, 5 lakh 6000 into 1 plus 25 by 10 by 100 to the power 2. Now, we will bring this 10 in the denominator form. Fine, so it will be 5 lakh 6000 into 1 plus 25 by 10 into 100 is what? 1000. Okay, students, so we have multiplied it. Now we can reduce also 25 and 1000 can be reduced. So 25 was the 25, 25 40 is up. Okay, so now it will look like 5 lakh 60,000 1 plus 1 by 40 to the power 2. Now solve the bracket. So 5 lakh 60,000 that is 40 40 plus 1 2. So it will look like 5 lakh 6,000 into 41 by 40 into 41 by 40. Now if you reduce this, you will get the answer as 531616 Okay. 
So we'll get the answer as 531616.25. The problem is what? Again, the count is coming in decimal form. So what did I say? Population or any count, when it is coming in the decimal form, you have to approximate the value. Now, how to approximate? What did I say? You have to check the 10th position. Fine. So if in the 10th position, 1, 2, 3, 4 is written, then you will repeat the number. And if in the 10th position, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is written, then you will write the succeeding number to this. But in this case, we have 2, so we will repeat this. So, your required answer would be what? <clears throat> so, your required answer would be amount is equals to 531616. Approx, you have to write students. Approx. Fine. So, this is your required answer. Fine. So that's it for this session, students. I hope all of you have understood question number 10 and 11. Thank you so much. God bless you and stay blessed.